In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21 from the gun spread formation that is something that you can use out of the Arizona playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with all of the latest tips and strategies going on right here on the YouTube channel. Alright guys, so in today's video we're talking about the play Curl Wheel from the Gun Spread Y Slot. This formation can be found in the Arizona Cardinals playbook and if you guys have been watching me at all this season, what you might have missed is early on this year I actually was running um, a ton, and I mean a ton, of gun spread. It was kind of my first offense. I was learning a lot about the air raid offense and how to use it. And so if you want to get my complete spread air raid offensive guide um, that shows you how to dominate with a spread offense in this game, that is going to be available for you in the description. You can get the entire ebook down below in the description. It also comes with my full defense as well, so it's a little combo guide. Um, but anyways, this is how I like to run the play curl wheel. So if you want to get the guide down below, um, but this is how I like to run the play curl wheel. So all we're going to do is we are simply going to um, take the triangle receiver on this play, and we are going to put him on a little flat route, just like this right here. And then we're going to take the X receiver, and we're going to put him on a hitch route. That's it. That's the setup. Very simple. Um, if you want to, you can take your running back and you can put him on a wheel route. But this is how I like to run this play. And what we're looking for, the number one receiver, and the receiver that will literally beat every coverage in the entire game, is that circle receiver. The beauty of the spread offense is because it is so well spaced out, it is very, very difficult for your opponent to be able to have a lot of success at stopping a lot of the popular things that you can do because of the fact that you have so much um, space. You have so much spread and there's so much space. So you'll see here, this post route comes open at multiple points as well. It's one of those really, really unique little post routes that you can really, really leverage. And there's actually another way that we could run this play if we wanted to. Um, this would be more of a specific defense um, that we would want to run this. But basically, if we streak the triangle receiver, and then all we're going to do is we're just going to take the X receiver, we're going to put him on that hitch route again, and then the square receiver, what we're going to do is we're just going to put him on a little slant, right? Something like this right here, or a curl, you know, just something simple. And you'll see that with this route combination, what that's going to do is it's just going to open up a ton of space. You see that that circle receiver can run all the way across the formation um, and just gets open at multiple points. That's the beauty of the route. So let's say, for example, they're running something like a cover four on you where they have an inside quarter. Um, the cover four is going to be the hardest time with this, but basically if they do, you're just going to blow the ball right in front of the inside quarter. As you can see right there, it's wide open. We're able to beat zone coverage with it. That's cover two or cover, uh, I'm sorry, I apologize. That's cover... Um, that's cover four. And then uh, cover two will look like this right here. Now this does have a little bit better yellow zone coverage, but as you can see, it, it gets wide open. Now if they, if they leave their zone drops on default, they will drop back a little bit more, but they're still not gonna be in a good position to be able to stop that route. Um, in fact, even if they were to try to run some man-to-man -man coverage, um, especially because of the fact that that's Devontae Adams in that position, but really anyone, you will see a lot of separation against man with this. This is just such a simple but effective route that will get open every single time for you no matter what. They have to use or guard that route, okay? And because they have to use or guard that route, then it opens up these basic route combinations off of it, which is essentially um, is a lot of curl flats. It's, it's just a lot of curl flat concepts here. You see here, I'm gonna hit the running back. And the beauty of spread is that it's very, very effective at spacing the field. You know, the air raid talks about using 53-3. What that basically means is we want to use the whole, um, we just want to use the whole field. That's kind of the idea behind it. And so based on the spacing that you already have within this play, you're going to find a lot of success. So if they try to run things like Mabel coverage and stuff like that, you see here that your little curl routes are going to get wide open every single time. It's going to be very, very difficult for them to be able to run that defense and you're going to have a ton of success. In fact, your hitches on the right, your 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 flats are gonna be there for you. Um, if you don't wanna run flat routes, which because you can't rack catch them very well, you can run out routes if you want to. So that's another thing that you could do. So let's say, for example, we wanna run um, this and they wanna blitz us. Instead of running a flat route, 
what we could do is we could run a little out route, a little quick out route. We see that it's open, we'll take it, and he's gonna get a little bit better rack catch animation. It's gonna get a little bit better separation. But the spread offense is super, super effective. And if you wanna get my entire gun spread offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description below. It breaks down not only a two by two spread, it also breaks down three by one spread. It shows you how to beat every coverage in the game for a one play touchdown. It is just a very, very effective passing and offense. And so if you are looking for something different later in the year, I just wanna encourage you to check out my air raid offense. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208. 218-6900. And again, if you want to get that spread offensive guide that has video and written breakdowns, complete tutorials for you to run this offense, um, you can get that in the description.